Yao Anakwa, 2015 Distinguished Service Diamond Award winner. Yao is someone who has had a big impact on the world um, in a relatively small amount of time. Yao leads by example. You know, he does the things that he's passionate about and he really focuses on places where he can make a difference. Early on, Yao realized that he could use his technical expertise to solve global problems. Yao is a very unique mix of idealism and pragmatism with a sprinkle of uh, subversiveness mixed in. This pragmatism in the sense that you know, there's always some way to solve those challenges and then his slight subversiveness, which is not to accept what uh, existing methodologies are for doing this kind of work, but to really kind of strike out on his own and find, a, find his own path. Prior to pursuing his PhD, Yao moved to Rwanda to explore whether technology could improve healthcare delivery for HIV and tuberculosis patients. While volunteering in rural clinics, he witnessed significant delays in care caused by paper-based record keeping. This experience planted the seed for the development of Open Data Kit, he really focused on making the project community oriented. So it wasn't just a couple people making decisions. It was input from people who were using it. It was input from other developers. And he really wanted to make it a project that everyone can be involved with. He really cares about having a real impact and making sure that the system is going to do the job that it's been designed to do. Open Data Kit is a suite of data collection smartphone tools that can be used in developing communities. Yao created it in collaboration with his colleagues and his advisor, Gaetano Borriello, while he was a PhD student. Yao is without doubt um, the you know, primary force be behind Open Data Kit. Nothing about ODK would exist if it weren't for Yao. He's unique in the sense that he'll go anywhere. You know, wherever the, the most need is, he will go. You know, he's worked on projects in Congo and South Sudan, and that's just within the last year. Uh, Yao went to Kenya and worked specifically with Ampath. They actually, last year, reached their one millionth patient um, with their outreach program. And um, so they were one of the first organizations to transition from paper um, into using uh, Open Data Kit to submit the medical records directly into their OpenMRS system uh, using the phones in the field. A million was a, was a huge number for them, especially because they did that, I think, in, in just four years. ODK is now one of the most widely used tools for data collection, replacing tens of millions of paper forms. Its users include the Red Cross, the Jane Goodall Institute, the Carter Center, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, and Google. He has uh, the ability to speak everybody's different languages and to really care about the different needs and the different priorities of these stakeholders and then bring them together and create a unified vision of what should be built or what should be deployed to try and solve these problems. Yao is somebody who you know, really uses a technology for in service of the final goal. And I think you can see the result of that in just the widespread applicability of the Open Data Kit, uh, just the sheer number of people who found it useful and the sheer number of organizations that use it. Yao and Carl decided to take Open Data Kit and start a new company called Nafundi that is really trying to make sure that the tools continue to exist and that they evolve and that they reach more organizations in the world. The idea is, you know, as, as long as there's organizations using the product that need help, we'll be there to help them.